goldies welcome back to my channel so today is a travel vlog i am traveling down to the beach which is about three and a half hours away from charlotte north carolina i'm heading towards wrightsville beach area i am traveling solo dolo for this trip i do appreciate my solo trips just because it helps me connect with myself again helps me get grounded i love going to the beach just for that particular reason i am a pisces i have a lot of water energy in my birth chart so every time i go down to a beach or go to somewhere by water whether it's like a river a lake a waterfall any something that's a large body of water i feel like my most authentic self i feel grounded i feel connected to universe i feel connected to the world so i need Everything this has been going on in the news and i feel like it's a perfect time to take care of myself and to enjoy myself and i am grateful that i'm able to travel and to make this trip something more like a spiritual connecting driving for about an hour and a half now i'm still two hours away from my destination i just wanted to say the car that's ahead of me like their license plate number is 7777 if you're not into spirituality then you don't know that that is an angel number confirmation to let me know that i am on the right path to take this solo trip and to just rediscover myself and to just relax and to be connected to the spiritual world and be connected to the universe so i just love when i see confirmations like this that i am on the right path and that i should have nothing to worry about and that this is going to be a great uh, trip to North Carolina I'm at the Airbnb I just went ahead and inspect everything it looks exactly like the pictures I'm about to just settle in for a little bit and then head to get some food and everything but look how cute this is like I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can just see how cute it is in here like very warm house very cute i'm liking the vibe it's very quiet on the street so everything looks exactly like the picture and i like that so far Here is a vegan burger, a jalapeno and crispy onions on top of that with some fries. And then I got some cauliflower wing, which I'm probably not gonna eat all of this food, but I wanted to try something that is very familiar, burgers and fries and cauliflower wings. So that's what I got. Good morning, beautiful people. So today is beach day for me for my trip. I'm gonna spend at least three to four hours at the beach. Just like I said earlier in this vlog, I just love being I was very the nervous water. with the weather because it was showing mostly cloudy for like all this morning. And now that we get heading towards the afternoon, it looks like the sun is peeking through the clouds. So let's just continue to pray and manifest some nice sunny weather while I go to the beach. By the time I get more and closer and closer to the water, the sun is peeking through the clouds. I still was gonna go even if it was a cloudy day, but I just prefer to have sunny weather while I'm at the beach. Y'all. I think green is becoming my color. Like I've been so obsessed with all shades of green. Like you saw earlier in this vlog, I had on green. My swimsuit is green. My bag, my book bag with the stuff to go to the beach is green. I don't know. I may have to trade in green for gold as my favorite color. I don't know why I've just been so drawn to green, but I am. <laughs> like I was saying, the theme of this trip is just green, all shades of green, and I am rocking that to the T. 
for this trip. Just got done paying for parking. I was a little nervous because I'm the only one that parked in this parking lot. I'm just going to walk down to the beach. I didn't know the other parking lots were full. This was the first parking lot I saw and I was like, I'm gonna just go ahead and pay for parking in this parking lot. And if you ever come to Riceville Beach, if you do a day pass, it'll be so much more cheaper. It's $25. And if you don't wanna do a day pass, it'll be just $5 per hour, which I just think the day pass is just so much more cheaper. reflecting, listen to the sound of the waves, meditating, just really getting grounded and staying connected to myself. And this trip has been so transforming for me to put myself out there and get comfortable with being alone and doing things by myself. I know like as humans, we crave social connections and I do appreciate all of the social connections and friendships and family members I do have in my life. I'm very grateful for everyone that is in my life. But sometimes we get so caught up with just always having to do things with other people. So these last hour, I've just been really reflecting and just appreciating the moments, putting myself first and having somewhat of a good self-care routine. So I'm still developing my self-care routine, but I feel like this is going to be something I'm going to implement at least twice or three times out of the summer, just coming down to the beach and doing some type of self-reflecting.